girl, and today I'm gonna make for you some Ital stew peas. So you're gonna need about half cup or a cup of kidney beans, and you can mix it half and half with broad beans. Half of a chocha, one carrot. I don't have a carrot today, but you can use a carrot. Half a chocha, spring of time. One onion, half of an onion, a scallion, piece of ginger cut to half of your finger, about four to six garlic cloves. I'm gonna use some coconut milk in it, but I'm gonna use coconut powder, some olive oil, about a tablespoon, or coconut oil. Make sure it's organic coconut, coconut powder and I will slew of herbs, a quarter teaspoon of pimento berries, old cloves, about two or three old cloves, rosemary, a tablespoon or a teaspoon, grind up, a marjoram, a teaspoon of marjoram, a teaspoon of oregano. A tablespoon of dried basil and a tablespoon of dried parsley or fresh. I know I said I tell about um, a teaspoon of sea salt, just a teaspoon, and it's optional, you don't have to use it. Trust me, you really don't have to. And a quarter teaspoon of grated nutmeg. Remember now, you can mix this with butter beans, probably black eyed peas, beans, all kind of any beans you can mix it with but you must have kidney beans alright just rinse this off with a little white vinegar just rinse this So it's important to watch. Look, it's not really good. Although I didn't say. We're going to put some flour dumpling in this as well. It's best to use wheat flour dumpling. I don't have no wheat flour dumpling, but I'm going to use the flour one. I'm washing this twice. It's just too dirty. And I remember if I bought it. And no, I actually bought this in the supermarket. A particular supermarket I don't like. They don't practice good habits. That's why I don't know. That's clean, that's how you want to get your water. So take this out again. Right. Now, just soak this for about 30 minutes at least to an hour. aside for later and if you're gonna eat well if you're gonna eat ital might as well just go all out and eat it with brown rice and if you don't have brown rice eat it with boiled or boiled 
vegetable starchy food. Alright, while we wait for that, we're going to make the flour dumpling. The secret is one in every four. So it's if it's one cup of flour, you use quarter cup of water. One in every four. If it's a cup of flour, quarter cup of water. Why? Sometimes why I repeat myself because the camera cut off. I'm not sure if I said it. So if I repeat, don't worry. Right. Let's add water. And if you add too much flour, you can add a, a little bit more water and vice versa. This is a dumpling spinners. I love dumpling and stew peas. I don't know. I don't think a stew peas is complete unless you don't have the dumpling. If you don't have this spinner dumpling, it's not stew peas. I guess it's soup. Uh, put this aside for later. So we're ready to use it. We're ready to use it. We're gonna spin it then. <coughs> oh, I want to put a pepper in it. This is my pickled pepper. I just put them in some vinegar and put them in this jar and save it. See, they're cheap now. So buy them when I'm cheap. And save it. Alright, now we wait for the peas. We're gonna sort out some. Sort out the seasoning. Just take off this. Don't waste the onion. And this is the strongest. Outer layer is stronger. Garlic. Two. No, six. If you can stop stress, oh, beans are dietary fiber and it helps detox, detoxes your body. Flush your, um, you call it no, intestine. It helps flushes your upper intestine. Okay, low intestine is what digests the nutrients in the food. When you eat food and you digest it, your low intestine break your stomach break down the food first and then it goes down in your low intestine and your low intestine take the nutrients from the food and send it to the various parts in your body. And uh, and then the waste go to your upper intestine. Now sometimes some of y'all who love to eat and go sleep and eat and don't digest food and eat those starch, um, um, processed food, um, processed foods and meat that's, that's rare and so forth, they stay in your upper intestine for a very, very long time before they come out. And then with the, if you eat beans now, it flush it out helps flush it out. It's a fine piece of ginger and just prep it up like notice a ginger. You could have a ginger out as long as ever and it never get a mildew. It will dry up get a mildew dry up like this and turn it on. 
so that tells me it is a antibiotic it's a natural antibiotic if you have any kind of thing drink some tea what I do I cut it up fine 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 and just swallow it with water but make sure you cut it up fine because the acid in your stomach is gonna break it down anyways a piece of chocha I had. Chocho. That's on its brink. It's enzymes in the chocha is seeping out. Excuse me. Enzymes is the life. And that's what that's nutrient nutrients are enzymes so for instance if you just pick a fruit it's full of enzyme the life of the fruit is still in it and that's the best time to eat it each day pass the, the life deteriorates until it dries up or mildew and when it means you, that means it's in insects and little micro stuff that you can't see. That's eating away. Alright, it's your rosemary. A teaspoon. A teaspoon. I just love the smell of rosemary. I don't know why. I just rosemary just have a nice smell. I think I could drink a rosemary soup, a rosemary tea. What's this? Basil, tablespoon, parsley, tablespoon. Try it out fresh. This is oregano, about a teaspoon, this is chewing it. So this is going to be our flavor in the stew because we're not adding any meat, nor chicken, nor fish. Or any meat, chicken, nor fish. However, oh, ways of grammar. Marjoram, teaspoon, whole clove. thing here is gonna give it the meat flavor the whole clove tastes like meat trust me so we're gonna use about six of these and this is our fermenter berries about quarter teaspoon or half remember now this is high tar so I want to flavor out this is turmeric. I'm not using it, but I'm not showing you. This is how it look. One of these days, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna make turmeric with the chicken. Just turmeric chicken, which is curry chicken. Not mixed. So that's that. Coconut. Still cover this with the side for later. The only thing we don't have is a carrot, which is I don't feel like I don't want any, so I'm not going to the market. So I was hungry the other day and I ate them. Just like a snack. Yeah, another thing of mine that I like to do in stews, any stew, beef stew, peas, soup, anything, but mainly stews, marijuana stick. If 
you have these marijuana limbs, stick, you can use them as well. I don't know what it does, uh, what it do to the Jew or whatever, but I've been using them for ever since, and it don't do nothing to me. So some vitamins or something that's going in it, that's good. It's just an idea. I'm uh, I'm covering this pot to wash. I just remember something. The kidney beans, if you don't want to pressure cook the kidney beans, you see, you can buy the can and then just drain the water and then put some about the water, about let's say, three cups of water and then throw the beans in it and then stew it. I'm not sure if you should throw away the water. The water is liquid, like clear, throw it away, but if it's brown, like the kidney beans, you can use it. Alright, or another way, if you wanna, don't use pressure cooking, you can boil it for, for about maybe two hours in enough water until it's tenderized. Alright, let's put a pressure cooker pot, let's have peas now, let's remove this water. from the water. And we want it. It's up to you. So that was two cups of water. Four cups. Uh, we're not adding anything to this. Just if you want, you can add like maybe a piece of the ginger. A couple of the Marijuana sticks. I don't know if you guys heard, but you know in Jamaica they look into. It's not really legalized, you know, because you can't really smoke it in Jamaica. You can get locked up same way for smoking, but it's kind of legal to have. I think they say less than two ounces. If you have two ounces on you, a police can write me a ticket, but he can't lock me up. So it's not really legal, but it's legalish. I don't know. That never stop me. Let's put this on properly. I'm taking a draw if I want it to. Put your stove gauge at high. Once it comes to a whistle, we're gonna put it on four or medium low, and then time it for 20 minutes. But once it starts to whistle, why do I why do I soak the beans? I uh, traditionally Jamaican soak the beans. Um, we believe I believe it releases the gas from the beans when it soaks. Scientifically, I'm not sure, um, and it helps tenderize it as well because I notice whenever if I don't soak it for the 30 minutes and just pressure it for 20 minutes it tend to be a little hard so when I soak it for the 30 minutes it I'm telling you the things as I go by another thing you can add to this stew as well is some diced Irish and turnip some diced turnip but add it 15 minutes close to the end because Irish cook quickly and it will break down in it and make it thick and you don't want that you just want to eat it like stew like a meat substitute and another thing too if you have some um, flex seed um, um, and then again this um, sesame sesame seed you can put a few in there like a tablespoon or so just a bit of, just to enrich it some more and to as well this is optional you can put peanut in it raw raw peanut or pumpkin pumpkin seed nut not a pumpkin seed enough but the nut part of it 
Alright, this is Aitas QPs. But the difference between Aitas QPs and Aitas Q is that you mm. had vegetables like dice yam and so forth. I'm not gonna add a dice yam to this. Alright, it's building up. Okay. Put your timer for 20 minutes and put it so okay and low. And then it's low. to you know to turn it down. Okay, although I'm using coco coconut milk powder, if you wanna use coconut milk, you saw me use four cups of water. Just use two cups of water and two cups of coconut milk. And just pressure cook it with that. Or pressure cook it with three cups of water and then put one cup of coconut three or pressure cook it with two cups of water and one cup of coconut milk and then after it's finished you add one more cup of coconut milk to it. Alright. After 20 minutes just turn it off, allow it to cool. If you want it, if you're in an hurry, if you're in hurry, just run water over here and here. And once the pressure releases, <coughs> once the pressure releases here, then you just take this up and open it. Other than that, just allow it to cool. Don't ever, don't ever take this up, because if you do that, it releases the flavor. Alright, about 30 minutes to cool. So I look like. Turn it on, put the stove on high, and once it comes to a boil, we're going to keep it on low. between your palms. Like this. If you have some tomato, you can put two small tomato. And in the end, I'm gonna put two cups, two tablespoons of ketchup. It's optional; you don't have to. your seasoning all your seasoning as for the salt I'm not gonna add I'm not gonna add any salt I'm gonna cook it and taste it to the end I'm eating it so if I feel like I need to add a little salt I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you how it tastes without salt or if it would need salt I'm 
flash the guardings. This is two piece I don't want to put too much water but I have a cup of water close by just in case. Keep the stove gauge and low. Mash the garlic. It's best if you mash it up. Mash it up, that's the finest possible. gauge and low and just leave it for a while. You just want the season to break down in the stew. And then after about 15 minutes or so we're going to add the coconut powder and the pepper. And just let it simmer. This is after 5 minutes. Uh, I don't want this to happen you now. Freeze blowing it so I close the door. Normally, I don't have this problem. Alright, this is after five minutes. So, stir it in. This is how you want it. I want it to, s to season it to break down. Just keep it covered. Um, coconut milk. Some people might say, why you don't have the whole thing? You don't want the coconut milk to overtake the stew. You just want it to enhance the, the stew's flavor. So half is good enough. This is at 5 gram, 50 gram. So half of it is 25 grams. Don't forget to Ow. add a little oil. So after 20 minutes why did not add the coconut milk yet? Because you don't want to have the coconut milk too quick and then it start creamy fine before it start before it finish cooking it. Dumpling and break down the season. Now I smell the herbal. Herbal is a mixture of herbs. That's why it is herbal. Okay. See how that look creamy enough? So you don't want more than just half. If you put the whole full in there, it's gonna be too much. Just cover it and allow it to simmer. Those cages are low. That's all low it is. Alright, this is 30 minutes in. 
Jose, San Lo, Jesse Mary. You could smell the herbs just spilling it. It was so strong. Now I had a coconut kind of simmer it down, coconut powder. Just let it simmer. Earlier, I said I was going to add ketchup. I like how I put coconut milk in it. I'm not going to put any ketchup, no ketchup. Put coconut milk. I want to give you a tip too. Alright, at this stage, we can turn it off. Alright, I'm not going to eat right now. I'm going to eat like in three hours. So it's Turn it off, let it soak, and go on soak. It's like it's like eight minutes to finish, and then when I come back in three hours, I'm just gonna turn it on, and turn it on the stove, and just let it boil out and thicken. All right, I went and took a nap for three hours. Allow it to build and then turn it on low and simmer. So, before all of this is stewed for 30 minutes, and then we pressure cook it for 20 minutes, then we stew it for 30 minutes, no stew for 5 minutes. Since I turned, since I turned it on back. Let's remove the time sticks. And the pepper. gauge on low I'm sorry put your stove gauge on high and just let it thicken I'm gonna taste it and see if you need any salt It's good like this one. But I'm gonna add a little salt.
people are against salt, man, because your body needs salt. Your body needs salt, so you have to eat salt. You know animals, animals that don't act, that don't get salt, you know, in the wild, that don't get salt, they have to suck dirt and dirt and rocks and stuff like that, just to get salt. So salt is a luxury, believe it or not. Just that some people misuse it. You can't eat it nor drink it. Anyway, by me adding the salt to this, it balanced the flavor. It just balanced the flavor. That's all I have to say. Alright, she's, she's sticking up now. So it's creamified by itself. It must have feel like you need to add butter. I know this is the Rastafarian section. Uh, you guys discipline still. But for those of you watching this, don't add no butter. So you can use coconut oil. Coconut oil is good with a lot of stuff. Trust me. Research it on your own. Starting to stick. But I want it thick. So when I put it on a rice, it just eat right. No meat, strictly item. I'm pleased with this and turn it off. And you cannot add dumpling if you don't want to. It's optional. Yeah, man. It's good. <laughs> 